Okay, what's going on guys? Welcome to a video I'm very excited to record. I am extremely excited for today. We're here for Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2 Episode 1. My god, have I been hyped to get this series back and rolling. Oh, it feels like it's been forever since, se since Season 1 dropped. Yeah, as per if you watched my PV trailer reaction, um, this seems like this beginning arc is at least going to be about Gojo and his past, which is very interesting. Other than that, I really have no thoughts going into this. I don't know what to expect. I know I, I have been perfect in avoiding spoilers for this season and pretty much this entire series as uh, this is one of my favorites and I would really hate to get spoiled. Um, with that being said though, I'm beyond excited to get into this. So, uh, I'm going to stop delaying, and I'm going to get straight into Episode 1 of Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2. Okay, the animation already looks gorgeous. Oh my god, the floor animation! Mm. Okay. Here's Ghetto. The scene we saw from the trailer, at least that face. Oh, I'm so hyped! I'm so hyped! I'm so unbelievably hyped. The animation looks gorgeous. Ew. Exercise absorb. Oh, that's right, because he his ability he can absorb curses. Ooh. What curse spirits taste like. Ew. So to absorb their powers he has to eat them? That is disgusting. <gasps> There's Gojo. Whoa. This camera's crazy. What? Jesus, dude. Ah. So now they go and visit the place where there's probably curses. Oh, hey, okay, so at least these two here are from the first season, but they're a lot older. This girl in particular has a scar on her face I think right and then this girl is the one that like um during the tournament arc was Gojo was I think paying her or something I can't exactly remember for sure what was happening there but I think he was paying her M maybe I'm wrong about that also I totally forgot to point out my intro but I got my little um Megum Megumi shirt on even though he's um not gonna be in this season at least not the beginning half of the season at all, because it's a flashback to Gojo's past. Wow, hand-drawn cars. That's not something you see all the time anymore. My god, the animation looks gorgeous. Entering these premises forbidden, many have gone missing. Okay, yeah. So, to, to have her help you and be on your side, you do have to pay her. Which is what, I, I believe, I, if I'm correct, that's what Gojo was doing in the last season. Make it look like an actual, like, haunted mansion. Ooh, we're back for season two. Oh my god. You sure about that? Lots of garbage. Oh, there's some squatters here. There's definitely some, uh, type of squatter in here. Dude, I'm sorry, I'm gonna be gushing about this animation the entire episode. It looks so good. Why would they still be supplying it with electricity? Unless I got someone living here. <laughs> I wonder if this is where she gets that scar. That looks like blood. <laughs> okay, I've got to be right, right? I really hope I'm not just like blabbering out of my ass, like completely wrong information. But I'm pretty certain that the girl that I'm thinking of with the scar across her face wears this outfit in season one. And then that girl is the girl that Gojo had hired. I'm like... 98% sure, but I'm, I, I don't know. I really hope I'm not wrong, so I don't look, look like an idiot. 
Oh, that is a noose. Yikes. <laughs> Those clothes are laid out a little too cleanly. That's creepy. Also, I did know, uh, someone did mention this in my, the comment to my trailer reaction that the, there's a new director for this season, which is why the animation style looks, the character style looks a little different. Like, it's not all that noticeable, nor does it, like, change how good the animation looks, but, um, it, there is a different director, so the style is slightly changed. Why is she, I don't like how she's, like, looking like this. Why are they focusing on this? It's not gonna be anything, is it? Oh my god, please look under the bed any slower. You're scaring me. Oh my god, it's just a few rats. Oh, off she goes. Got scared by- Oh my god, she's freaking out about some rats. Dude, this style is so unique. Like, those scenes there, just a few seconds ago, like, I'm not- quite sure how to comment on them because I don't know whether to say it looks amazing or bad I don't know it's a it's a very unique style I've never I've, I don't think I've ever seen a style like what I just saw there in an anime before I'm gonna actually I'm gonna go back and rewatch it real quick like the way she's moving against that 3d scene looks really strange <laughs> I guess if I were to have to put it in any kind of way Maybe they're gonna get a little experimental this season, who knows? That'd be interesting to see. Uh-oh. Well, it would appear that you were trapped. Yeah, so this is what, this is what happened to the missing people. They got uh, stuck in this place. Feels like a lot, um... Feels a lot like Chainsaw Man, uh, the hotel arc. Yeah, <laughs> that's awful. This definitely gives me uh, Chainsaw Man vibes from the hotel arc when they get stuck in like the 8th floor, I think it was, with the uh, Infinity Devil. It's never ending. That would make sense. This door, there's a bunch of stuff in there. <laughs> uh, this is so cool. I love how they keep passing the screen. Yeah, which you're not really doing. You just keep walking past the screen over and over and over again. Utahime. So the hallway distance is ever changing. Huh. You think it's just going to eventually run out? What is that behind them? Wait, was there not just something standing behind them? What, 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 what is that? What, what is that? Is that the ceiling? Oh my god. <laughs> I think it's the ceiling. <laughs> I thought it was a curse, but I think it's just the ceiling. <laughs> oh, that was so stupid. <laughs> I'll be expecting a promotion. I don't know if you did anything. Jesus Christ! Oh my god, the whole place is breaking. Well, I think you escaped. Even if just barely. <gasps> Gojo! Second grade sorcerer, Iori Utahime. U Utahime, first grade sorcerer, Meime. Yeah, okay. I do remember these names. These are both characters from the uh, first season as well. <laughs> yeah, I think he might actually need his help. Just maybe a little bit. Yep, him and Ghetto. <laughs> she looks like, um, she looks like Nobra. Like that, she looks exactly like Nobra. They have the same hair, same hair color. That's so interesting. Okay, so we got Shoko. 
The only person who treats her like a teacher, I guess. <laughs> they were in there for two days? <laughs> Why is he just get him just appearing from the floor down there? What? What happened? Did they blow it up? Oh, they just totally forgot. <laughs> oh, and this is the uh, principal that we see in the first season as well, just much younger. Wow, this is so weird to see Ghetto like this. It's so weird to see him like this. Because he's all evil in the first season and in the movie, but here he seems just like, I, I don't know, much more calm and much more like, I guess, I, I, good? <laughs> it's a really, really broken down, simplified way of putting it. But he seems to like actually care. I don't know. I mean, we've only seen him for like two minutes, so I am just kind of talking a little bit too much. Wait, but his... Interesting. Because in the movie, his ideology is completely and utterly different. He absolutely, completely and utterly despises people who don't have jujitsu powers. I wonder why. What led him to completely flip his moral standing on this issue? I think that's his ideology in the movie, right? He calls them even, he, I think he even calls them like monkeys or something. Something stupid like that. Because he absolutely despises them and then he like extorts them for money or stuff like that. I, I, I don't know. So I, I guess we'll find out what really changed him in this season. And Gojo seems to just not care at all. What a shot. <laughs> she left because you two are about to scrap. Tengen? You mean Uzui? Tengen Uzui? Escort that girl and erase her? What? Okay, yeah, he does become the principal. Cursed technique of immorality? What? Huh. Oh, is this the, um, super old guy with the guitar? Is that, um, is that who they're talking about? I don't know if they ever mentioned his name. I think they just called him, like, GG or something, like, old man. But I can't remember. So I might, I might be wrong about that, if it's him or not. Cease to be human and become a higher existence. That does sound cool. それらすべてが天元様によって強度を底上げして、キュリティや任務の消化すらままならない。五百年に一度聖書体、天元様と適合する人間と同化し、うん、okay。And it's that girl from the opening in that scene we saw. I guess she's the one that he can assimilate with. Uh-oh. Gojo is never, ever humble. Yeah, Gojo is never, ever humble. <gasps> oh, boy. What in the world? Oh, he got carried out by one of the curses. Oh, well, there she goes. Oh, the animation's going crazy. 
Oh my god, this looks so good! Oh yeah, that group's after her. <laughs> oh, well, he's got a bunch of knives at him now. I love their just so casual attitude towards literally everything that's happening. Like, they literally seem like they could care less, honestly. <laughs> no, the episode's almost over. Guess we'll be taking out this group first. <laughs> Dude, Gojo's such a badass. Z Zane? Is this, um... So this must be Maki and, uh... Mai... Her name's Mai, right? M-A-I, I believe her name was, the girl with the gun. Maki and Mai's, uh, older sibling? Oh, well, this is the dude from the trailer, isn't it? Oh, I... Now, hang on just a second. Hang on just a second. So, Maki... If we... <sighs> How, uh, so, <laughs> I cannot wrap my head around what I just heard. So, Maki and Fushiguro are related, essentially, is what I'm gathering from this. So this is Fushiguro's father, right here. This, whoever this man is, is F Fushiguro's father. Okay, I'm gonna finish the episode, and I'll talk about this in the end episode uh, discussion more. Oh, is that it? Oh, yep, that's it. Now we got, uh, ending time. What? Dude, man, such a good way to return. So there's a few things I want to talk about. So, um, one thing that I have realized after watching the ending is, uh, their, uh, Shoko, Geto, and Gojo's friendship reminds me a lot of Itadori, Fushiguro, or Megami, I guess. I call him e either or. I call him either or. Uh, Itadori, Megami, and Nobura's relationship. Like, their, their, their little friend group reminds me a ton of what we just saw from that ending with Gojo, Shoko, and Geto. Reminds me a lot of that group. Um, also, I need to try and wrap my head around that line at the very end. So, in some way, shape, or form, Fushiguro slash Megami... Okay, just Megami. God, I need to, like, just start calling him. I literally have his shirt on. <laughs> Uh, Megami is somehow related to the Zane clan. So, if we take it like this, so Megami, Megami's mom is not related to any of them. Then we've got his dad, evidently, who is this, uh, Fushiguro, who we don't know his first name, but he called himself Fushiguro, which is the exact same family name that Megami has. Um, so that's interesting, first off. And then if we take from the fact that he said he's of ex Zenin clan member, that means he is somehow related to both Maki and Mai. Don't know if he's their older brother or what. I don't know, does that make them cousins? How does that make Megumi and Maki related? I'm not sure how that makes them related, but I would think it would be cousins, right? I'm not entirely sure. However, that just... That is a crazy reveal. So much just got revealed in that, like, one... In that, like, couple sentences there. And I think, also... Because didn't Gojo pick up Megumi when he was, like, a kid? Because wasn't... Uh, I'm trying to think if Megumi was... Orphaned or not. All I remember is that one scene... Towards the end of Season 1 where Megumi and Gojo were talking. And there's the scene of, like, Gojo... With these glasses on... Going and talking to little kid Megumi. I do remember that. But Megumi also has a sister who has that curse placed on her. Man, I don't know. So many things are running around my head. I'm sure we'll get more details on it as the season progresses. Man, what a return episode. I'm so excited for where the season is going to go. Um, I hope you guys are excited to take this journey with me. But with all that being said, that's going to wrap it up for my reaction to Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2, Episode 1. I'm so excited to be back. I hope you guys did enjoy, and I hope you all have a good day.